Tabletop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell of Lost Souls with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight that's making me really hungry. You're hungry, aren't you? What is this game? This is New York Slice. Yes. Uh, it's a pizza game where you're going to divvy out pizza pieces, get the most points. Uh, aesthetically, this game is awesome. Oh. I can't wait to show it off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at the box here, and uh, I'm I'm hungry because yeah. I just ate lunch, and I'm like, man, I could you're already hungry slice. again. Yeah, <laughs> I want to slice of pizza now for dinner. Uh, this looks really cool. I can't wait to crack this one open. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look inside. New York slice. Yes. Slice, choose eat. You ready to get hungry? I am. Uh, let's flip it over real quick. It looks like a pizza box. This, let me let me say it. you can't feel this in the camera, but this is a hefty box. It's got some weight. Yeah, yeah. good weight to it. Does. I can work out with this, you know. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. After eating pizza, pizza, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can see here some slices. Games. It looks yeah. really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Okay. There's not a lot of components. Uh, one thing I really like is the box. It, it is does look actually like a, pizza. a pizza box. What? Yeah, look at that. Uh, it's a pizza box. Nice touch. Good, well played. Good aesthetics to this game. Yeah. That's not it though. Are you ready, Adam? Dude, that looks like a menu. This is a menu. The rules <laughs> is a menu. Uh, yeah. We'll go over that in a second. Uh, there's not a lot of rules there. No, it's not a it's not a complex game. No. Uh, you have the punch outs because I mean you're gonna be making pizzas. They're all collected together. This is why there's so much weight yeah. in the game. It's all cardboard punch outs. All cardboard. Um, okay, we'll slide this top one off here. Yeah. Well, I want to show off this too. This is the scorecard, and nice. it is a check, which is great. It's like a guest checkout. So, when it comes to the aesthetics, you guys got an A plus. Nice. Okay. A plus. So, this I just want to show one of these off real quick. Um, mm -hmm. Take these all out, but uh, you've got the little today special cards up top, which is yes. a nice touch. Yeah. And then you've got different types of pizzas. Yeah, so the today specials can either be points at the end or they can have like abilities you can do. Uh, and then you got these pizzas. Um, each pizza, it does matter what's on top of them. Mm. Pepperonis matter because you can uh, choose to eat them right away or save them in, in towards the end of the game. Whoever has like the most pepperonis at the end of the game gets that many points uh, based off the points on the value of the pizza. But yeah, it's a, it's a good looking game. And I want to, the other side is. Or actually like the, yeah, it's actual pizza crust. Yeah, pizza crust. It's like photorealistic, man. Yeah, it's really good. Here's a couple more of the boards. We have a Hawaiian. Couple, yeah, the Hawaiian pizza. Looks like a barbecue. A little cut in line, oh, Dale man, pizza. I want a barbecue pizza now. Dibs. Uh, mushrooms, some peppers. Everyone else diet. <laughs> Aw. Seconds. I got some pepper. Anchovies are bad in this game. Why? Because nobody likes anchovies. Oh. <laughs> I like Sorry for people who like anchovies. They're actually negative. Do you like Caesar salad? Uh, no, I actually don't. Oh. Caesar I know what you're about to say. I know what you're about to say, though. Yeah. A good one does. Uh, sneak a slice stuffed crust. I like these. Tiebreaker. Yeah. That's like the meat attack pizza right there, man. All right. This this reminds me of another game I played as a kid, but it, it looks really good. Uh, it's you actually, like anchovies. It's see? actually based off of a game. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it was instead of pizzas, it was pies. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and it's, it's actually that game. The That's Bezier cool. Games bought the rights to that game because it wasn't in print. I, I really like the... And then they changed the rules. I like it. That's a nice touch. Yeah. Very cool. You want to go uh, over the rule book? Yeah. Take my order and uh, we'll go over the rule book. Yeah. What would you like to have, sir? Uh, I want some pizza. <laughs> well, it came to the right place. Bingo. Uh, I'll go over... You want to zoom in a bit? Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at the rules. So it goes over a setup. Um, you're you're building the pizzas. Oh, it's probably two player. Yes, uh, it's gonna be different. three, four, or six players use yes. all the slices. Five players remove some of the slices. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. You shuffle the slices. You make stacks of the slices, um, and then you make the pizzas. Uh, well, you make a pizza at a time. So how it works is each player is gonna take turns being the cutter, okay. um, or the slicer. I think they're called slicer. And the slicer is gonna take the pizza. He's gonna build the pizza around, and then he's gonna choose how he wants to slice it up based on how many people are playing. Oh. Uh, so it can be two ways, if it's two players, like you cut it in the middle somewhere, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, or it can be, actually he doesn't have to cut it in the middle, he can cut it like two slices out and the rest out. Um, oh. And then players take turns choosing which, which slice they want, like which portion they want. Oh. So let's say he built you know, the pizza and he took two slices out, three slices out, and another four slices out. Then players in row uh, after the slicer choose what they want, like the two or the four or the three. Uh, the slicer goes last, so you want to think about that as a slicer. You want you want there to be bad ones. You want to have bad gonna, picks. But you're gonna you're gonna most likely have the bad pick. So you want to have ones that okay, I know 
my opponent wants the, you know, pepper one. But he's gonna get the anchovies too. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna have him have the anchovies and yeah. the pepper. So I know he has, he's gonna take that and I can maybe have something better. Yeah. So you're really, as a slicer, you're really kind of like getting in the mindset of your opponent and trying so to like- some strategy. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, this is what the built police said. And this is the example I was talking about. They, they cut it into slices. So this person yeah. has a four. You two, get a two, lot of pepperonis three. here, but you're also gonna get an Some anchovies, anchovies so. and stuff like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the pepperonis matter. I mean, you can choose to eat the pizza right away when you get it, or you can save it for later. Whoever mm -hmm. has the most pepperoni points, or pepperonis in the end, gets the points valued on the pizza. So it's really powerful. Nice. Um, other than that, it's really a basic game. There's some special slices too. Yeah, uh, so, I'm sorry, we have it up here. Uh, so, for instance, there's the numbered slices, there's the basic, basic slices, um, there's the combo slices. So there are four of those in the, the game. Um, they each count as half of each whatever. So this is like the barbecue and this is the pepper. They yeah, each yeah. count as half of that. Uh, they're good tiebreakers, basically. Gotcha. There's the anchovy slice. The anchovy slice can, uh, cannot be eaten and is worth negative three points for this in case of those three anchovies yeah. uh, to anyone who collects it. So at the end of the game, it's negative three points because there's three anchovies. Yeah, yeah. So Supreme slice is kind of like the wild card because it's everything except for anchovies uh, and it can be used for anything. Yeah. Yeah. And then wow. keep going. And there's the special stuff. Talks about the special stuff. Yep. Yeah, you can read that over if you get the game and stuff like that. There's stuff like where you can choose first, even if you're the slicer, yeah. or it's just worth two points. You can like anchovies. Yeah. Day old pizza, lose two yeah. points. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, this is the end, the credits, and that's about it. I yeah. like it. It's a quick. Pretty easy read. Love the aesthetic. Like yeah, A plus they, on that. They did great. They knocked out. This yeah. box is great. Like you can yeah. you can actually if you want to, you can use this box as a pizza box. You I should. mean I wouldn't recommend it. You shouldn't. But you could. You could. You really could. Yeah. Well, that's a fun looking game. Let's uh let's hop out for a really quick recap. Well that was New York Slice. Fun little pizza game. Yeah. Uh, I love the concept. I love the artwork on it. Mm -hmm. It's almost photo photorealistic. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it'll make you hungry. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. Looks pretty cool. Uh, let's crunch the numbers on this game really quick. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the price point on this one? Twenty nine ninety five. Seems reasonable. That's good for this size game. Yeah, yeah. totally, totally. Uh, it's two to six players, yes. so you can all have a slice on that action. Uh, the playtime is around thirty minutes. It's not that long of a game. Yeah, That's and cool. again, it's it's pretty much kid friendly. It's oh yeah. So yeah, it's just don't eat the, eat easy. the pizza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go make real pizza. Don't eat the cardboard. Don't yeah. eat the cardboard. That's bad for you. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really fun little game. Great family game. Uh, go check it out. It's, yeah. Is this uh, brand new? Brand or? new in stores right now. Yeah. Brand new in stores right now. Go check it out. I'm Adam Harry from Bell Hustles. I'm Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fancy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.